Hi, my name is Matt Collins, and this is an article I wrote in March of 2020. What do a Bridgeport City Council member, a writer, the director of the Beardsley Zoo, and an activist have in common? How about a lighting designer, a retired NBA player, a local historian, and a radio talk show host? There may be numerous answers, but here's one. They're among some of the many colorful characters that were featured in the University of Bridgeport's Shelf Out Gallery earlier this year. The exhibit, The Bridgeport Portrait Project, featured documentary-style portraits by Jamesenchik and Geraldine Valentine, all taken as part of an ever-evolving and ever-expanding work of art for which the exhibit represented a moment within a significantly longer lifespan, one that continues onward now that the photos have come down from the Shelf Out's walls. When asked about its origins, Geraldine said, it is a culmination of previous projects. Jay, who taught photography courses at the University of Bridgeport in the 90s, explained, in 1989, we thought we were scaling the idea of a photo project down when we decided to only photograph people on Bridgeport's Main Street. From there, it evolved. A digression of sorts set in when they turned their focus from people to buildings upon taking notice of two abandoned theaters on Main Street. But it also led them back toward the heart of this present project. We got a little bit bored just photographing the walls in the theaters, as amazing as they were, and we started looking for people who had a connection to the theaters, Jay said. By the time they were offered a year-long residency in 2014 and 2015 on the third floor of historic McLevy Hall in downtown Bridgeport, the project was in full gear. But what exactly is it? Within the past half century, a historical method called microhistory took shape that, among other things, endeavors to better account for all members of society, regardless of factors such as class or occupation. Without specifically intending to do this, one might say that the Bridgeport Portrait Project is a microhistory of the city told through an ever-growing collection of portrait photographs that bring out the unique personalities and interests of some of its many residents. It is, indeed, already historical in nature. Eight portraits on the Shelf House walls were of people who had passed away since being photographed. There are also recollections of the Bridgeport Bluefish baseball team, which recently relocated to North Carolina. Both the team's co-founders and the team mascot are among those photographed. But it is not only about the past. It even takes on a life of its own at times. Its organically evolving and community-driven nature was on full display during the exhibit's opening on January 25th of 2020, when a crowd of nearly 400 gathered on the University of Bridgeport campus to see and to be an expression of the multifaceted city of Bridgeport. Animated as they are in their portraits, when the people in the pictures came together with friends, family, and fellow citizens, the project took on a whole new vivacious dimension. There are lots of moving parts that make up the Bridgeport Portrait Project. The people photographed, their stories and interconnections, and the story of the project itself, including its evolution and the way it found its place on the University of Bridgeport campus. The Shelf Out exhibit was by no means a conclusion. The Bridgeport Portrait Project is ongoing. 